What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Is It Kino. I am your regular host. It's been on the last 10 episodes, Florian Himsel. And joined with me today <laughs> is Mumkey Jones. Mumkey, do you want to say hi? Yeah, if we are going to do the four of us as the Stranger Things uh, four boys, uh, would I be a Will Byers because I'm secretly gay for you? <laughs> yes, you would be. Oh, boy. Okay. Which would sign me up. Wait. That would mean that I am dating uh, a government experiment, possibly not very high IQ girl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, could that be Florian Himsel? <laughs> All my brain powers go towards my psychic abilities, okay? <laughs> I'm actually very smart. Wow, no, how could you? No, Florian, y you have to be one of the guys. Uh, no, so one of you is going to have to be this. <laughs> Florian, is there something you'd like to tell us before uh, we start? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to well, identify I'm... as a different gender? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to admit, I always forget the names of the guys. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's, let me just ask you this question. Are you a nerd or a basketball player? Well, Florian would rather be the woman than the black boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, wow. that's what he's telling me right he's, now. Oh, I don't want to betray the Aryan race, so... <laughs> well, well, I'd be the fat one for sure. Or would I? Which uh, means he rich is black. The one who can barely talk? Right, yeah, I'm I like... guess that fits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I like Sadie Sink, so... All right, you have the... You Wait, have that the man's name is Sadie? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Caleb. No, his name is Caleb. Uh, it's it, McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Yeah, it's not like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's got like an Irish last name, but Sadie Sink it plays Max. That's is, the redhead? Uh, yeah, it's the redhead, yeah. Okay, uh, to start this discussion, uh, and I guess this will be about Stranger Things in general, not just the new season. Uh, Kino, you haven't been on this show for like 10 episodes, and then you say, oh, Stranger Things. Guys, I have to come back. I, I, I need to talk about Stranger <laughs> Things. Well, and I, I honestly have no opinion of this show. Like, it's so bland. Like, it after is. a week, I can't even remember anything about it. So why did you want to talk about this? Well, because I had uh, I had promised you that I was going to come on as a Kino um, when the first part of season four released, and you watched all of the series and then i we, we we talked to each other about doing it um after the last two episodes dropped so I so you're wanna, just like, a man who keeps his word no matter what yeah uh yeah basically just like the joker in the dark knight i am a man of my mm, word okay um <laughs> but, but no i just uh uh you know i don't i don't know I, I haven't done one of these in a while, and I was like, oh, something that I actually saw. Oh, yeah. Where have you I been? you just been too been busy working. for us? You think you're, you know, a big hotshot businessman now? You don't even need us anymore? <laughs> I've been working a lot, and uh, I just haven't had any time to go to the movies or anything. So the fact that this is something that, like, went on streaming, and I was able to make time on the weekends to, to watch... Um, I think I actually I got sick and I and I watched the last two episodes. <laughs> Maybe that's why, why it was like more interesting to you is because you were just sick and in, in only yeah. half of your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and even then, oh, man. Well, why even then, I'm like, to... <laughs> oh, let's, wow. let's hear Florian 11. defend the show. I would love to hear it. Okay. Yeah. How how can you think that this is bland and boring? There's so much fucking cool shit happening. Like all over the place. This is definitely the best season, and no, season one is still the best. No way, man. Before, I mean, before this was season three, the best season. No, they keep and getting better. That, the more the characters season. and convoluted bullshit, the better the show is, in my humble okay, opinion. Okay, here's here's wow. Stranger Things season four in a nutshell. Right, is that she gets a fucking doll in the mail, and and the and basically it. They use an entire episode, and the, the the plot line for that entire episode for Winona Ryder's character is that she breaks open the doll, gets a number, and then calls the number. The problem with season four, and this was a problem with season three as well, is that they have so many characters, so many different plot lines, that the amount of actual uh, story that's covered in each episode is actually pretty minimal. And at the end of each episode, I always kind of felt like... I, okay like it seems like we haven't really moved that far plot wise or character wise and um especially character wise the only characters in this season that 
really have any kind of growth are um, Eddie Munson um, and uh, Sadie Sink or whatever Max, Max. and then and then Steve is always the best character uh, because Billy got killed off in season three. Uh, if Billy did not get killed off, Billy would be the best character. But it's like a lot of the characters don't really have. It's like okay, so so what does Lucas learn? He learns to not join the people who want to actually kill his friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's like I want to be cool, but I also want to be Dungeons and Dragons. You know, it's like well, for side. Florian, that was a life <laughs> lesson he needed because he is friends with some Jewish people and he has some Nazis in his family, and you know he has decisions he needs to make sometimes. <laughs> you know, he needed oh, to watch the you- show. I thought you were going to say it's because I, I want to kill all you guys all the time. Well, wow. that is also true. Yeah. Uh, but this is like, supposed I'm to teach you that killing is not the answer unless you're the main character. And last time I I'm, checked, Florian, yeah. uh, you're not. Sure I'm just going to use the first episode as an example where it's like nothing interesting happens in the first hour. Everything interesting happens in the last 15 minutes. And it's just <laughs> kind of, it's not just a problem with, with Stranger Things, but this is a lot of like streaming uh, yeah, stream streaming uh, shows where it's like they just front, they just put a whole bunch of shit I don't care about in uh, boring stuff. Like in the first, you know, like for about seventy five percent of each episode, and then like all the interesting stuff is kind of back back loaded so that you watch the next episode. Part of part of that is a TV problem and part of that is a Netflix problem. I feel like yeah. with TV shows, the first episode of a season is usually trying to put you like back where you saw the characters last kind of just, uh, reacquaint you with what their situations are. And then near the end, they'll get to like the actually worthwhile shit to see. But then also Netflix is really trying to get you to watch that next episode. They just want yeah. you to keep fucking like binging these things, watch as much as possible. Uh, and so between those two things, it just like creates a monster of a show. Yeah, well, like this is this is definitely a show that you're meant to binge, which kind of it didn't make sense to me then why they released like the last two episodes like a month and or six weeks or so after they released quote unquote volume one, which it's like, OK, so volume one is seven episodes and volume two is two. Well, well did did anybody did anybody here actually not binge the show? Did anybody have the restraint to watch maybe one per day? <laughs> I watched about two per day. Okay. Yeah, that's about the speed I did. Yeah, yeah I, I binged it. Had to be done. Although you can't watch that last episode with another episode. That last episode is almost two and a half hours long. It's, yeah, yeah exactly. that last episode they, they, is so fucking they, long. They split the episode, uh, the seasons just fine, okay? They just put shut up, half season. <laughs> shut up, <laughs> shut, 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 shut. But shut do up. you think if no, this show was should, released weekly, episode. would people like it more or less? I, mean, I think they would like it less. Liked it fine, because no, because I, I also want to say this: there's a six week gap, right, between volume one and volume two. By the time that six weeks was up. I kind of forgot everything that happened <laughs> in volume one. Yeah. I really needed to watch that. Like they have at the beginning, it was like, uh, previously on Stranger Things. I was like, holy shit, did I watch all that? <laughs> like <laughs> Well, supposedly part of the reason why the last two episodes weren't out was because they weren't finished. And apparently no, they, they were like finished. they were working on shots of the last episode. Oh, like, is that because Bob hours. Odenkirk had his heart attack so he, he couldn't play the, uh, yeah, the zombie all monster of TV man? production took a break yeah. after oh, Bob God. Odenkirk. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was like, guys, better call Saul's taking a break. We all should too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Solidarity. That's fair. <laughs> and oh my wait, was that a pun that was intentional? Yeah. Solidarity? Yes. <laughs> union. The union says you got to take a break. Bob <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, no, supposedly, and, and this is actually one of the funniest things about that is supposedly they were tweaking the uh, VFX up to the last minute so that yeah. if you watched the last <laughs> episode on the first day, there were missing visual effect shots. Oh, shit. Yeah, so you got like the uh, remember when X Men Origins Wolverine yes leaked online. <laughs> you got that version of it <laughs> supposedly. Yeah. I, I didn't watch it on the first day or two, so I waited like a week until yeah. I was sick and I had nothing else to do. So you know how Steam has early access. It feels like we're getting early access TV shows now, where it's like we're not quite done with this, but we're gonna put it out, and then <laughs> hopefully by the time you watch it, it'll be done. 
<laughs> oh, like, nobody I, saw it, so I'm sure it's fine, okay? And the, it doesn't even matter if there's episodes or not. Come on, you're still, you're still just going to watch the same thing and just start the next episode right away, aren't you? This is the last episode, be. Florian. No, well, yeah, but you can just pause it whenever. It'll remember where you were. It's Netflix. Well, it will remember wherever you were. However, um, like... It is jarring when you stop something like mid movie and then come back. Like it's better to have some sort of uh, what, natural intermission. It's like even to have if they like had a like cliffhanger for the next episode, does that? No, no, no. Like, I'm talking about like the last two and a half hour episode. They could have had some sort of intermission thing, like in the middle. Uh, three episodes. <laughs> it, yeah, or they could have released <laughs> just three episodes. It's literally just two. Uh, the two episodes in one yeah. and I think that there was a probably difference. a natural break in there that they could have found it, there is no such thing because we just talked about how there's always a cliffhanger that gets you ready for the next no, episode before, the problem is within that last episode characters are in danger and then you don't come back to them and resolve that danger for 45 minutes an yeah. entire episode length within that same ep- episode you do not get closure for what's happening it takes literally 45 minutes to show five minutes of actual time. Yeah, that's true as well. <laughs> it, it, is, it is as if they have paused time through a lot of this season, where it's yeah. like you are watching what is, should be a five-minute scene, but it takes them about 25 minutes to play. The show has basically become the One Piece anime, where like in, in Alabasta, <laughs> there will be five episodes covering the three minutes of the bomb timer going down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, you know, the other funny thing about season four, and I'm not big onto the Stranger Things lore or anything like that, but uh, a lot of people were talking about this, is that supposedly it was Will Byers' birthday, <laughs> and they compl- and the writers completely forgot, and so they're actually going, or are, they're doing something like they're changing rewriting the an earlier episode, or they tried to pack it in in a later in the later episode about how they forgot his birthday. Well, maybe his mom said no more birthdays in, until you stop having gay thoughts. And <laughs> yeah. he, he would rather just think about cock all day. But it's funny because that kind of shows how it, it just seems like there's not that level of care because that would be in the because it was a plot point in an earlier season. His birthday would be in the series Bible. So it's not like, oh, we just randomly made it his birthday and we're never going to forget it. Like in TV writing, you know, you have your series Bible with all the info right. about all the characters that you always go to. If you have a question of like, would a character do this? Would a character do that? And his birthday being a plot point in an earlier season would uh, definitely be a part of that series Bible. So I, I'm just like, were well, they So not? Kino, would you say these Duffer brothers, uh, that's who makes the show, right? <laughs> Duffer brothers? Yeah. What's their name, Duffer brothers? <laughs> Would Aren't you, they making? Would you? You know, no. Let me. What would you oh, say? Yeah, but, perhaps they don't have a great attention for detail and the meticulous uh, storytelling elements <laughs> needed of uh, perhaps something that's going to be <laughs> adapted that what the soon. The editor or the line editor is for who's like. This uh, is their uh, universe. Sure. These are their characters, and they can't even get the birthday yeah, it, fucking it, right. It, it honestly, it does kind of come back to them because it is their vision. And now I'm not saying that I think Stranger Things is a bad show because you look, if you're binging it or if you're watching it as like mindless entertainment, it's it can be pretty fun, except for season two, which season two made me want to like just destroy my I hated season two so <laughs> much. Um, well, that season, begs the question for Florian. Yeah. Florian, are you excited that they have announced a brand new Netflix Death Note series being created by the Duffer Brothers? In sure, it's probably gonna be good. Your I mean, hype, it, hype <laughs> AF. I mean, if they made this, then it's gonna be epic, yeah. Mm, it's gonna be. If they can't even get their own character's birthday right, are they gonna get the Death Note <laughs> correct? Like, are they gonna adapt the story properly, or is yeah, it gonna you, be another shit show? I mean, if you're gonna nitpick and, and care about something as boring as birthdays, then yeah, I guess. I guess you might complain a little. <laughs> I mean, the, oh, the beauty of the Death scene. Note is how meticulous, like, the rules of the universe are, and, and the way that the main character tries to manipulate the rules is what makes it interesting to me. Yeah. So I feel like they should have an attention to detail. I hope they adapt the scene where they uh, Rhea gives the Death Note to Trump. <laughs> I hope that's in the show. Uh, that's, yeah, they should end it with that, for sure. <laughs> 
Well, how, how is that even, the, like, the, the point of Death Note? If, like, all they do is just, like, kill the main interesting guy, like, halfway through, and then the rest of it just goes on and wanders around, Yeah, you know? uh, after uh, the midpoint, uh, I would just end it. That's fine. We don't need yeah, the yeah. second half. Yeah, I don't want to watch the rest of Death Note. Well, no. You know, if you want to watch all of Stranger Things... I, I can't believe you guys are just complaining about this stuff all all the time. Well, let's give you another Florian Corner moment, and uninterrupted, you can really just tell us why you love this show. Yeah, I, I really don't get how you could say that this is bland in any ways. There's so much cool shit. These characters are just really interesting. I mean, in, in 2 and 3, they weren't as great, obviously. Like, the, the stuff was all over the place, but in 1 and 4... It's really engaging to, to see where they go. And they, they really pulled out all the stops. We, we see Eleven's backstory, this like crazy government secret shit happening. And, and we go to Russia, and, and Russia is evil. Big surprise. That's that's relatable and cool. And they, they have a gulag where they keep monsters. I mean, that's that's almost the same way they're trying to destroy the It's almost the like what now. they were doing in Poland, in Austria. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you have to go back fifty years to to defend the people that you're that you're currently no, defending. I, I think you know? what he's trying to say is, if you're going to imprison anything, monsters is you know one of the least bad things you could. Like, oh, you locked up a bunch of monsters that would destroy society. Boo hoo! <laughs> you know, no, but they keep it alive on purpose. They, well, yeah, you want to torture it and experiment with it, you know, for fun. <laughs> Florian, would you say your favorite part of the season was the Russia scenes where uh, everything is completely pointless, they escape from the jail, and then go back? <laughs> and right then they back go back! Then, like, everything is pointless? <laughs> yeah. What, are you kidding me? Like, wow, why, 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 do we, why do we even live, huh? How is they that? Go back and, <laughs> the only reason they go back is to fight the monsters because somehow those monsters are connected to a hive mind and they know that the kids are entering the upside down on the other side of the world <laughs> and by flaming these demogorgons on in this Russian prison is going to save the kids in Hawkins, Illinois because they're part of a hive mind. Although we see in it when they're in the upside down, when like one of them is like attacking one of the bats or whatever, the other bats don't react. Like it doesn't hurt all of the bats at once, but yeah, but if they fight these, like, seven Demogorgons, then those bats will call off their attack because they're hurting or something. Well, yeah, obviously the bats are in a higher level on, in the hierarchy. What, are you kidding me? You think they, they're going to, like, cry every they're time they're on the, the higher dies? levels? No, I, what I'm saying is that, but how, uh, maybe I missed something, but how did Joyce and Hopper and crew know that the kids were going to be in the Upside Down um, and that they needed to help them. Well, they, they oh. sent them a message in some way, don't you remember? And then they said, so. oh yeah, we have to go there and do this. How, how could you forget? I forgot a lot about this season. I, I've given up trying to figure out how any of this shit works. <laughs> it's a very forgettable show. I told you, I, mean, I forgot everything about Volume 1, and then I went to Volume 2. <laughs> Going like, wait, like what did I watch six weeks ago? And I think that illustrates the main issue we have with the show that I think maybe Florian d does not. Mm. And if we're going to really evaluate our friend here, uh, I think I might have figured something out about Florian's psyche here, folks. Uh, the problem with the show is that it, it's way too epic. It's way yeah. more epic than it needs to be. Really? Like the length, what? the length in the presentation is way more epic than the material of the show actually is, and that brings us back to the Hobbit trilogy <laughs> that <laughs> Florian loves so much. <laughs> Literally a children's book that is stretched out to ten fucking hours. Way too epic in nature when it really is just not that much there, and it sucks. And, well, and Florian loves both of these things. It's the same well, shit. Yeah, well, that just Hobbit. shows how little you fucking understand about The Hobbit, okay? The Hobbit is not a children's book, okay? It is. The Hobbit is... It is. It is. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. No, okay. I love The Hobbit. Nobody I love the cares Hobbit. about I... the fucking book. It's I the read it as a book. children's book. I loved book. it. I loved it as a kid. I read it, I read it several times as a kid. It is a children's book. Like, Lord of the Rings is more for adults, and The Hobbit is more for no, kids. No, you, you, you talk yeah. about the book, but... 
the Hobbit it, trilogy is clearly the prequel trilogy to the Lord of the Rings oh, trilogy. Oh, you're talking about the I, movies, I, though. Yeah, I, I don't know I'm how you... The movies get suck! The movies suck. Like the book. Are you? None of you have even seen the extended edition, okay? <laughs> yes, I, <have>. you, <laughs> I don't need the theatrical the version edition. was way I've too fucking long. I've seen all more. three movies. I'm not watching them again. I'm not watching an extended version of them again. You coward, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, to I'm a coward. Oh, okay. <laughs> there needs to be some sort of bet we make that if Florian miraculously wins, all four of us have to watch the extended trilogy and review it with him. <laughs> but like, what would the bet be? Because he has a lot more money, so if we win, we get his money. If he wins, yeah, we have to yeah, watch this bullshit. Watch, yeah. What should we getting anything? Florian, yeah, what do you I want think. to bet on to make us watch this? Florian hoards his gold, much like Smaug. <laughs> Florian yeah. is the Smaug of this podcast, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the most I'd give you is that I, I'd watch The Norseman three times, okay? <laughs> I, I don't even want that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, none of us want you to watch it again. <laughs> yeah, maybe you, maybe you'll really torture me. Okay, maybe at the end I'll even like that horrible. No, movie no, no. I'll, How about I'll, I'll regret having made the rant on my videos? Charlie. How about it's you, know, you don't have to watch the Northman three times. You have to watch it the number of times th to make it as long as the Hobbit trilogy. <laughs> yeah, it's like five or six. Yeah, times, it's like six probably. or seven times. No, it yeah. is not. The Norseman is almost three hours. Come on. No, no you're hours, fucking girl. stupid. Yeah, it's I'm gonna look it up long. right now, okay? <laughs> the Northman is not three hours long. Oh, it is. No, it's like two hours and ten minutes or something. Kino Corner sure. has seen it like seven times now. <laughs> I am reading Icelandic sagas right now. <laughs> two hours, hours, 17 minutes. Uh, that's oh, basically wow. three hours. So close to three he hours. He only puts the juice yes. in the oven for two hours and 17 but minutes. It's, it's basically it's three. Much, it's pretty much two hours and 10 minutes. Cause like always like the right. last five or yeah, seven minutes. Yeah, there's credits in the film, yeah. Yeah. Is that really counted? Yes. Yeah, it's counted, counted, yeah. Wow. So Florian's oh, watching the Northman six times, but what are we betting on? <laughs> wow. Um, hmm. What are we betting on? Come on, Florian, think of something that means a lot to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it could be. I, I guess we'll be betting on the American election, huh? How about how about this? A two-year bet? Uh, no, no, I got I got a yeah. bet. It, it's going to be. This is a long haul bet, but uh, people in the comments just take notes of this. Um, if Turning Red wins Best Animated Film at the Oscars, uh, uh, I will watch the massive. entire Hobbit extended trilogy. I don't, oh, I don't care about the Oscars. The fucking well, garbage. who cares if you care? Now we're doing a group who cares? bet. You, do, you don't care about anything. I'm just saying that <laughs> if, you're, if your animated film that you love, Turning Red, your favorite movie of the year, wins At least top the three Oscar, favorite. Yeah, at least top three favorite. Wins the Oscar. Then we'll watch uh, the Hobbit uh, trilogy extended. Uh, can we think this through? Are there better animated movies coming out this year that will beat it? Like Lightyear's uh, not going to uh, do it. Lightyear's not going to do it. Uh, was Mad it God this year or last year? Mad God came out. Turning Red was this. I thought Turning Red was this year. Turning Red was this year. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. that, the, the odds would be greatly against me. <laughs> That's no fair. Like one no, I mean, it, it might movies. be in favor. I, I'm saying that I don't know actually of another animated film coming out this it year. It would rule if Mad got one, but uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, clearly Beavis and Butthead will win, right? Oh, if I'm, <laughs> oh yeah. Beavis and Butthead's going to win. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I hope it gets nominated. Yeah. Animated films 2022. Let me look this up. We're not even talking about Stranger Things. I'm waiting um, for Florian to give me a so reason easy. to oh, talk about talk it. about Stranger Things. The Bob's Burgers movie. No, nope. the bad guys. The nope. bad guys. Minions. Minions. Okay, that should win. Crew. Yeah, Minions <laughs> that should win. win. I'm voting for Minions. <laughs> um, All yeah, right, I guess if Chip if and Minions Dale Rescue wins, Rangers, Paul's and a Half, <laughs> South Park, The Streaming Wars, um, Hotel Transylvania, Hotel Transport. Trans well, it's going to be Minions Rise of Gru. Well, well, Jimmy already bet that it'd be Minions, so that's the bet now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm right. betting on Minions uh, Rise of Gru. Okay. I haven't seen it, but I'm <laughs> betting on it. <laughs> I mean, it's only one movie out of all the movies, even though it is very, very good. <laughs> I, oh, I, 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 I guess I like my own. If odds. it has your recommendation, I'm sure it is. Yeah. 
Well, if any other movie wins, I win, and we watch The Hobbit. I can't wait. Uh, I don't know if me and Erich agree to that one. Yeah. (laughs) No, no, we said only if Turning Red wins. Yeah, only Turning Red. No, Jimmy, you said, I bet. (laughs) How how could you take (laughs) it back? You Florian, I, I lie to you basically like 90% of my sentences. <laughs> but, but we have it on, on audio. You, you said it. You gotta yeah, do it. Yeah, he has final cut. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. also, I, like, I'm pretty sure the contract says I can lie to you as much as I want, and the show will still go on. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you at this point. Wow, I really thought okay. that you would, you would stick to your bets. I'm not Kino playing. Corner. Okay, I want to, I want to just go back to Stranger Things because I have a gripe with Stranger Things, right? And it's that uh, Eleven still fights by literally pointing and screaming. And in our chat, I likened her to the evil monkey from Family Guy. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) And that is like, even when she gets her powers back, spoiler alert, no one should care, at the end of season four and literally all of her in season is just learning about how she actually did know how to talk before season one, but she lost it because she went super cyan and sent uh, a school shooter to the uh, shadow realm. Um, and, uh, you know, and then she became like some sort of super, you know, they keep calling her a superhero in this. But even then when she like comes back and she has her powers at the very end, still all she does is, is point out her her arm and just scream and uh it, i i don't know like it's been four seasons it's been how many hours of episodes and there's no sort of evolution of her powers um except maybe she can uh get her powers more or something like that i mean there's You've really not paid attention at all. <laughs> you missed the part where she went into the other girl, you know, with the psychic powers, and then fought inside her dream. Uh, yeah, that's just that's just, that's just pointing at yeah, me. What did she actually her... do inside of her dream? She literally <laughs> lost. Did she? Huh, damn. Yeah, because it was the other guys that... I mean, she was only there to... Uh, she was only really there to distract him. She wasn't there to win or, or anything like that, but... She'd been doing stuff like that for the entire entire series of going into people's minds. So I, you know, I, I don't know. Like the, her character, just it doesn't. The way that she fights just doesn't lend itself, I think, to visually interesting um, scenes. And I think she's one of the least interesting characters in the show. Um, when she. When she could be one of the more interest, one of the more interesting characters, and I love how in the in season four they kind of uh, uh, just say like, yeah, it's actually Vecna who's been the bad guy this whole time, and you didn't actually kill him at the end. You just kind of like hurt him because they don't check to see <laughs> if he's dead. They just kind of toss him out of. Window. <laughs> and they're like, well, that's taken care of. And yeah, very much not. But you know, and it's like, yeah, oh, can yeah, somebody tell actually, me yeah. what happened at the end? It's just like they rushed the final 10 minutes of the two and a half hour finale. <laughs> it's like yeah. the most important part. Yeah, it's like really I want to see right. I want to see I the resolution how- to this season's story, but it's like we don't get that because all of a sudden there's an apocalypse and then, then it's just over. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, what? What there's happened? An there's an Dude, apocalypse, he, he but it's only for Hawkins. It's only for Hawkins. Hawkins. I think, I think they contained it to Hawkins, right? Like, yeah, and, and, and then the their whole, whole thing, like, Hawkins will fall or Hawkins must fall. I'm like, <laughs> who cares? I don't care yeah. about some Midwest <laughs> tiny town. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> oh, no, they fucked up our nowhere fucking. Oh, yeah, it's there. just flyover country to you fucking city boys, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hey, they set it up, okay? They said that if he kills the four people, then he will open the rift and, and it'll open yeah, the hell, and, okay? And, and, the fourth and person, he does. The he, fourth he kills- person. No, but he doesn't kill Max. No, he does. She was dead yeah, and she's she resurrected. Die. She does die. It's just that Eleven yeah. can resurrect her. Yeah, that counts. Yeah. Come on. You, you think a spell's gonna, like, undo itself because <laughs> the person is resurrected? What, Wait, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my uh my mauler my uh mauler <laughs> mask right now, huh? How did 
How did she resurrect her? This reminds me of Baby Yoda in Mandalorian Season uh, 2. <laughs> how is she not able to resurrect her? All she has to do is, like, CPR with, with her brain. Like, just squeeze the heart or whatever. <laughs> Should wow. I invite Mahler onto an episode of the show and have Florian debate him? And it'll be, like, 20 <laughs> yeah, hours we long? Should. We should. That'd be a good episode. I think he would do it. It would be. It'd be I a mean, great I, don't, I don't know if I have much to to disagree with. Well, him I want you to just go through every video he's ever made and find like the one you disagree with the most, and then we'll wow. just uh, have you guys go at it, and I'll be sitting here laughing and raking in the big bucks. Uh, yeah, the, the big <laughs> yeah. money. I, you I might make know, ten dollars. Yeah, off I might make a whole ten dollars off of you guys debating <laughs> for fifteen hours. <laughs> There's no way I can defeat him, you know. His his all his opinions are objectively true, you know, as he says. His opinions are objectively no. longer than yours, but I don't know <laughs> about you know, sure true are. or false. It'll, it'll take ten hours to do. The That's whole what thing, I'm saying. Know? It's going to be a big episode. Wow, you, you love big episodes, right? Just yeah. Speaking like, of which, let's wrap this shit up. Do you guys have any final thoughts on Stranger Things? Because I really, uh, I don't. I, it's just it's yeah. it's like uh, it's like candy. It's like candy that they put out Thank on you. Netflix every yeah. year, every year and a half. And uh, you know, I eat it, and it's like okay, this tastes you know fine. I'm gonna go shit it out tomorrow and never think of it again. Candy specifically yeah. gum, where you're chewing on the same piece of gum, it's the same flavor. It's starting to kind of lose its flavor. Your jaw is getting fucking tired from chewing all this time. You just want to spit it out and be done with it. After the end of it, it's yeah, no I, everlasting gobstopper. <laughs> That's for sure. I, I will say this: is that season four is better than seasons two and three. It's still not as good as season one. Season one, it honestly just should have. They should have kept it at season one because it was like this '80s nostalgia. It wasn't great. It was, it was fine. It was okay. It was fun at the time. It's just like this, you know. But it's kind of encapsulated. It was its own thing. And uh, season two is objectively the worst. Season three, I have a lot of major problems with season three. And a lot of the problems that were in season three persisted until se- uh, into season four, except for Erica. At least they toned down Erica in season four because she was so annoying in season three. Is that like, the I- lesbian? No. Oh. No, no, no. That's uh, the little black girl. Oh, oh, you're not being uh, homophobic. You're being racist. I see. Corner. <laughs> I knew it. it had to be something. She was objectively the most annoying character in season three. And like, if uh, they would have made her a white boy, but the same dialogue, would you have been, you know, clapping and saying literally me? No, no. If wow. It was a white boy, it was what a hateful dialogue. man. That character gave me nothing but joy. Remember her famous line of, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, <laughs> hell no. I'm telling remember, mom. Remember how it shows this as a girl boss moment when she basically... Uh, pigs out on ice cream in season three. <laughs> I eat what because I want. What you gonna do, white boy? <laughs> I was like, wow, that's eleven. That's a, a I white girl. Almost nothing about season three. Actually, I don't remember that well, at all. Plenty of said, racism season, in the show. Season four and season three suffer from uh, the similar problem in which there are way too many characters. There are way too many subplots. Uh, and a lot is going on, but also it's like nothing is going on because you feel like a lot of the stuff is pointless or it's drawn out. As I said, just like taking almost an entire episode to get Joyce to call a fucking phone number. Um, if we wanted you know. to make this show exclusively Kino, which three characters should we follow instead of following like eight different stories at once? Uh, obviously, Steve. And I think also obviously uh, Hellboy. What's his name? The cop? Oh, Hopper. Hopper, those two. But the whole, yeah, Steve Hopper and then Eddie getting hunted down by the fucking... uh, Well, I mean the show in general, not just this season. Oh, the show in general. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it should just be like Steve Steve and and Hopper. Uh, Well, we we need somebody who's connected to L, right? Yeah, so Mike. Sure. So Steve Hopper and Mike and... And not having more than three storylines going on at once, because I felt that like would be a, a, very helpful for me to actually yeah, remember what's happening. Yeah, because it, it, at some point I was I was counting out how many subplots there were in one of the episodes, and it was like six or seven <laughs> <laughs> stories going on. It's too and you're much. having like, and it's so funny that they they build up so they build up this jock character, 
and they make it into this sort of like satanic panic kind of uh, kind of thing. But he is unceremoniously killed off at the end. He gets like uh, sucked into the fucking ground or something. He, no, he gets split in half by the oh. ground, splitting in half. He just gets split in half like after he gets knocked out by um, Lucas. And I guess that's maybe the final death. Or I don't know, like, but no, Max the, is the final death. It was the ground splitting is already like the apocalypse. Yeah, it already happened yeah, okay. Point. But I mean, I don't really care a whole a whole lot. But the, uh, yeah, and it, and he's like out of out of it for like so long, and then he just kind of magically appears, like how they all are at the gun shop together, um, and that's you know, it, it's just like, oh, okay, I guess uh, th- he didn't have guns beforehand. Um, <laughs> which it seemed like he did, but um, the other thing about season four that kind of rubbed me the wrong way is the first two episodes where L- Elle's story is about her getting bullied at school, and it seems like the entire community is in on bullying her um, because she's called a snitch. So, like, the teacher just allows the one girl to bully her during class. Hey, then, I allow you and Eridge to bully Florian, and nobody really <laughs> complains. <laughs> but this yeah, is I'll, different, I'll and but also too. Florian's asking for it. So, so then the girl okay. like trips her on the. <laughs> so then the girl trips her on the concrete, destroys her, you know, diorama that she made. Obviously, this like troubled girl, and the teacher comes and asks Elle, like, "Who did this?" And Elle's like, "No, I just tripped," and she yeah. covers for her bully. But it's like anyone with common sense can put two and two together because the other bitch is literally standing right there smirking at her. Like, oh, yeah, uh, it definitely wasn't the girl who was just bullying Elle in class that just tripped her and destroyed her diorama and is now smirking at the incident. So the teacher, you know, takes away the, the bully girl and then it's like, oh, you snitched. It's like, what? But, okay, so even if it was like, just a girl wanted to get back at her and it was some like petty catty sort of drama sort of stuff. I, I, I would be on board. I'd say, okay, that's realistic, right? Because teenagers are stupid and whatever. But it's like at the skate rink, it's like this humiliation ritual <laughs> that's put on by the entire community where the DJs are fucking in on it. <laughs> Synchronized skate bullying. They're like skating around her in a circle, holding hands and fucking teasing her. It's insane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> when how does this happen you know and and then and then so she whacks the bully in the face and the and the show tries to portray this as like she's becoming a monster i'm like no she fucking deserved it like whack her, like <laughs> yeah they gotta do something about the fucking bullying <laughs> well yeah, the show doesn't like, really no. say anything about it you know it's just the characters say it come on but, but the other th- thing I was talking about... This isn't even I, that crazy. Like, if you watch like, a movie... Yeah, you know, Florian Carrie, had synchronized... Uh, here in bullying. Austria, we <laughs> go to the skating parlor <laughs> all like, the this time. happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys <laughs> never got bullied by the skaters? <laughs> but, I mean, have you not seen Carrie? Like, that girl gets covered in, in pigs. Yeah, another realistic laughs. story. Yeah, but Florian, that, like, <laughs> yeah. that, like escalates. Yeah, well, oh, this speaking escalates. Of, speaking of... Uh, um, what, what do you mean? How many, not how, many, escalate? how many movies did this did this particular season rip off of? Obviously, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's like big time uh, homage stealing from. They even oh, have Robert yeah. England. Oh, we yeah. really don't need this shit right now, okay? Like, <laughs> Thank you, you, you Florian. On, you, Thank you. You come on this episode, Kino, and it's like you're talking half the time. Like, <laughs> I'm not the last ten the episodes. Other half. He's the trying to narrate you? the entire plot of Stranger Things, and frankly, I'm here for it. It's more entertaining <laughs> than the show was. Wow. Okay, yeah. So yeah. they even bring back Robert England in this in this season, who played as Freddy Krueger in Nightmare on Elm Street, but they have him do like this Silence of the Lambs. Uh, yeah, a bit. Them. So, uh, so it's like okay. I, I mean, and this is also a problem of the other, of the other seasons of Stranger Things, where so obviously there's like, I, I like this movie and I like this movie, so I'm gonna make this like that movie. I'm gonna make it like this movie. You know, there's what so movies many, did like, you rip off when you made Wasted Hours? I ripped off of my own, uh, my own imagination. That's that's what I did. But you no, you imagine but like, paint things. drying very often. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, I mean, there's an art studio that Glink made in my uh, 
uh, um, uh oh, in my garage, and paint is drying there right now. I think. And you're thinking so. about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I've been thinking about that's it quite a lot. Movie idea right there. Come on. We'll get <laughs> on Speaking this. of hey, which, I've... when are we getting this Glink documentary? This Glink documentary about what? Lightwave. Yeah, he says he's making one. Are you helping make oh. that? Uh, no. Oh, are you gonna make your no, own? No, I, I'm. I have a job. <laughs> uh, and, too busy uh, but... to make epic content. Well, I'm making some epic content right now on uh, Florian's favorite movie, The Northman. Um, oh, good. So, so I, I know he'll enjoy it quite a lot, but I'm still reading my Icelandic sagas. But that should all be finished this weekend. So hopefully a week or two from now, I'll have that video out. I'll be back on YouTube. Take okay. a little hiatus. Let's, uh, let, let's hop to E. Rich and get his final thoughts on Stranger Things. You know, uh, back in the 80s, these movies used to come out. They were about two hours long at the at the most, and they would tell a succinct, like, very straightforward story. You might have some annoying characters here and there, but after about two hours, it was done. Stranger Things has found a way to expand that to, like, five <laughs> times the length. Maybe even now, like, six or seven times the length. And you might be surprised I... that they actually had series, like, way back, too. Did you know that, like, one of the oldest series of all time is, is running for, like, 500 episodes, and it started in the 50s? It's called Pokemon? So again, it's <laughs> no, it's called, like called One Piece. Yeah one, <laughs> yeah, one Piece has over a thousand episodes, Florian. Hello. Yeah, well, maybe it's The Simpsons. That one's probably a thousand episodes. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it was Gunsmoke or was it Badadza that was like one of the longest running series I'm for sure a while. it was Gunsmoke. Yeah. So so, anyways, like, yeah, w- w- why are you comparing this to a movie and saying, oh, um, oh this TV show is, it is wants longer to be than like a movie? <laughs> wow, blows my mind, doesn't it? For Amazing, it. Rich. It's fine to do that. But you don't fucking repeat yourself as much as they do in this fucking show. Characters going, escaping from prison, then going back to the prison. Other characters coming to get him out of prison. Like, all of this stuff is so cyclical. It ends up just feeling like you're seeing the same shit every couple episodes. It is regressing back to the shit that we saw earlier. And I honestly cannot tell you much that happened for most of the characters in the season. Can it's you honestly tell me grow. at the, yeah, no, that, that's the thing at the end of the season is Nancy more likely to stick with Jonathan or go with Steve because what Steve makes this about? big pitch to her at the end of the season. And she says fucking nothing. Like <laughs> she just kind of goes back to Jonathan who she's seen not at all this season. And I guess there are just a couple, like, there's some very basic things that you need to accomplish from a season of television. You start one place, and then at the end of the season, you have figured out you're in another place. Will starts the season probably definitely gay, and ends the season, nothing has changed. <laughs> so many of these characters, and there's a lot of fucking characters, undergo very little change or such little change that it just really lasts within an episode and doesn't really say anything bigger about their characters. Maybe they'll do shit in season five, but we're talking about season four. And in season four, there was some very basic shit that they didn't do. I guess uh, Mike is able to say he loves Eleven in the season. I guess Eleven gets her powers back and they get, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hopper out of Russian prison, which I think it was bullshit to put him in Russian prison in the first place. Uh, that was a dumb thing but, to but kill him all. Mike tell him. Eleven that he loved her in an earlier season? Possibly. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. Well, you're going to say it more than once, I guess. But I can't believe that you're saying this is cyclical. I can't believe you're saying that breaking back into the prison is not, like, incredibly heroic. No, it's it's cyclical. Oh, but we're just doing it for nostalgia, huh? Wow, killing these... Florian, didn't monsters. you say wow. Prison Break is your favorite show of all time? Don't they go <laughs> in and out of that prison, like, five or six times per <laughs> no, season? No, they go to different prisons. What, are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> okay, but it would, be, it would be less bad if... The, the show is more focused, but every plotline has like two or three dumb characters that serve no other purpose other than just being dumb fucking comedy or something. So and basically this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe that's why I don't you like know this that people love the dumb characters. Okay. Oh, like, we know. 
can think of it as like someone who's like, yeah, that's that's basically me. It's literally me. I love this guy. Oh, we should focus our whole story on this one guy. It's it all. Well, Florian, okay. well, let's hear you wrap it up with your final thoughts, and then we can finally get out of here. Yeah. I, I just can't believe that you guys are just so down on it. This is a really popular show. It's a great show. And you're just saying, nah, we should have stopped it at season one. We didn't need all this this great return to four that we get in season four. Nah, we could have stopped it at season one. That would have been fine. This is unbelievable. There's so much cool shit happening. And these characters really getting into this into their own. And if these, char- these creators started a different show, it wouldn't be nearly as good. And, and it, it really helps that, that we have so much of their lives happening here, okay? It, it's hard to remember if we're binging it, I know, but it's it's still all really cool, okay? Before the next season comes remember. out, are you going to rewatch everything? Yes, actually, I'm really looking forward to that. Wow, okay. So, <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> well, at $30 million an episode for season four, think about how many starving children in Africa they could have fed. But they made oh fuck Sam! I want Lord. more Stranger Things. <laughs> the fuck so are starving children. <laughs> I will give the show this. For the most part, it looks pretty damn good. So at least the money is being spent. But like it does, it does look good. But uh, this is gonna be my very very final thought uh, on Stranger Things. Is that I think that one of the big problems, and to just kind of condense down what you were saying, E Rich, it's so just like plot focused. It doesn't focus on the characters nearly enough, and the plot is convoluted. So I think that's a reason why, uh, well, there's so many plots going on. A lot of these plots are convoluted, and some of them are stupid. And there's not enough focus on characters, which is what makes it a fairly forgettable show. Because usually what I remember about a show or a movie is not necessarily the story, but the characters. And only a few characters in the show stand out and they aren't given enough time. Yeah, it's like convoluted, but then it always like uh, boils down to being very simple, actually. Yeah. Like, it, it's very frustrating to watch because they essentially have to fill in time. So they just make it more and more complex. And then you just boil it down to the basic fucking shit. So. Well, it's definitely good every time you rewatch it, even if you forget a lot the first time, you know. The, the more you see, the more stuff you'll discover, the more stuff you'll remember. I, I think it's just great, okay? So oh, just you. just watch this 20-hour TV show. <laughs> just take that time out of your life. Hey, speaking, of, speaking of watching a 20-hour TV show, let me know if uh, you guys would agree with this, uh, if you've seen it. But uh, I recently started watching a classic show from the early aughts. That's right. 24. Is it based and red-pilled? I don't know yet. Never actually seen it, so I, I've I guess seen we, one could, season. we could do this together. Maybe I haven't, I haven't seen it either. Uh, was the it's one 24. season you saw good? I thought it was fun. Okay, like I watched it when I was a teenager. The gimmick is that every episode only covers one hour of time, so the twenty-four yeah. episode season is a full twenty-four hours of uh, real time. So I- I'm uh, excited. Does Jack Bauer takes shits in real time. I have to imagine he does. Well, they 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 cut to like different. You know, there's like three different stories you usually oh, kind of going on. Yeah, it's not yeah. just following Jack the whole time. That would be really crazy. That'd be like bird band but 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. But the question is is the second season the next day or is it another day or something? Oh, I'll, I guess I'll find out in 23 it's hours. another day probably a year. <laughs> wow, years. it's just going to binge it. <laughs> yeah, that would be a hell of a binge. Four hours. <laughs> like, Live action binge. <laughs> After like a week, Monkey has like a full beard. It's like, <laughs> I've seen everything. Every Jack Bauer. Uh, it could be a year and I wouldn't have a full beardy rich. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Same, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, okay, so we all agree Stranger Things is Kino. Everybody should watch it on repeat yeah. to really boost those Netflix numbers. We want it to be number one until Squid Game Season 2 comes out. Yeah. <laughs> and I, oh, I do have one last thing. Why did they have to come out and clarify that Will was gay? Like, wasn't that fucking obvious from watching the show? Because yesterday, or the why does he have to have the Vincent the atheist haircut? (laughs) (laughs) Well, Well, not only that, not only that, but they make the gay guy like the biggest like man man baby, where he's just like, I just want to play Dungeons and Dragons all day, and can't we just like yeah, what a stereotype? 
Well, you yeah, know, you see, when the, they were when they were writing Will Byers, he was captive for the entire first season. So they were like, he doesn't really have a character. Out, yeah, we got to figure out a character. And they're like looking around being like, what else? What else? Oh, gay. We'll use that. Maybe he likes sucking <laughs> cock. Let's put that in the script. <laughs> That's going to give him a lot of depth. <laughs> in his anus. <laughs> uh, I just, it, it's just like, if you have to explain, yeah, this character who is most definitely gay and they basically they don't outright <laughs> say it but they really really fucking strongly imply it in every fucking episode of the season hey if kids come watch stranger come things out. this character's a homosexual now <laughs> if you have to have the actor go out and say yes will byers is gay and then you have all the audience or you know all the female audience members going like oh my gosh it's true it's like did you guys watch the show you know like why do you have to clarify this? <laughs> Florian, are, are you, are you glad his viewers won't understand unless Will Byers looks right at the screen and says, I am a gay man. <laughs> well, we're going to get that with the opening of the next season. sex in the show, and then people would be like, I don't know if he's gay or not. But I'm I didn't kidding. understand that part. <laughs> Florian, yeah, did you think he was gay? Part. Oh, I, I guess I don't have such intricate gay dars to keep <laughs> Sorry, did you not realize? <laughs> and I don't like to make assumptions, okay? Is that why you, you related to the character so much? Because it was confused about its sexuality, really? Yeah, maybe it's just pansexual, huh? Come on, you never know. <laughs> this was the 80s. <laughs> you were gay or... You either it, had AIDS or you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's enough. Uh, you guys want to plug some shit, and then I can leave? Yeah, E. Rich, you want to start? Yeah, sure. You can find me on Twitter at T-Z-A-R-R-E-V-A-N. Uh, go tell me that Maya Hawk is a beautiful queen who uh, deserves to be protected, and uh, it's I a need a, I also wonder need to have her up, racing my screen. Yeah, I also need a quirked up girl like Maya Hawk. Um, <laughs> She's a lesbian. But, uh, that's the whole point of season three. I love... I love what I cannot have. That's right. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> We've all had a lesbian waifu before. It's all the sweeter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are oh, you plugging, um, Kino? You haven't made a video in a month. What are you going to fucking plug? I haven't plug? made a video in a month. Uh, so just follow me on Twitter. Go to my YouTube. Um, and uh, maybe in a couple in a couple of weeks, I, I, will be coming out, I, will be, I will be coming back to YouTube. I'm just taking a uh, hiatus to... Uh, focus on starting my uh, work right now, my new job. And Florian, you said you have a brand new video about a great film, yeah. Thor 4, that's coming out soon. Yeah, well, it's hopefully done by now, considering that this comes out in like a month, so <laughs> everyone, everyone go to the Himsel Games channel and, and watch the, the video called Thor is Literally Unwatchable. Uh, you know? Did you watch it again for the video? So I've watched it once. What do you mean? Oh, well, you should have watched it again to make sure that your opinion stayed the same. Yeah, Florian, what oh, the well. fuck? Give the movie a fair chance. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's it's a Marvel film. It deserves a second look. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I had somebody should... come into my house last one. night and tell me that I needed to watch Thor 4. <laughs> and I proceeded to then say, have you heard about uh, the depressing stories of Jackson C. Frank and how he died penniless and schizophrenic. Oh, and I think I depressed the, the fuck out of the guy. I kept telling him like these super depressing stories just because I was mad at him for even recommending <laughs> 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 I told... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm not watching Thor 4. But, uh, <laughs> I hope you all liked it. I know you didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.